Hi. We're now four months into cramps and if you've made it thus far, congratulations, it's only gonna get more pretentious from here on out. In short, there was a lot to be discovered this month. I discovered new places, new music, that my moped was really, really dusty and needed a clean, the fact that I look great in a pink wig, that little children really love water guns, and most importantly, I discovered that high school doesn't really last forever. With all that being said, I now have to go and chain myself back to my desk at the moment because I'm in the midst of exam prep, but I do hope you enjoy the emotional roller coaster that was this month. So, this is April. Hello, welcome to April. It's currently April 2nd. I am on a week off, which is quite nice because we just finished mocks and I am so over it. Um, real exams start in 29 days. What I'm gonna do now is clean my moped while I tell you some news. These things are great to drive. They're actually brilliant. Get around pretty quickly. It's a lot easier to get around on these than it is in a car because they actually have specialized moped lane or bike lanes, but moped lanes, which means that you get around a lot faster. So majority of the school will drive to school on their mopeds, which is great. I know some people who have got have named their moped mopeds. Um, I know someone called who's got a moped called Panda, one that's called Blueberry. You know, I didn't name mine. If you have a name for my moped, comment down below. It's navy blue, kind of uneventful, but I love it. It, does, it serves me well. I managed to drive this thing with a flat tire for about four months until dad told me it was flat. And that's why I was going so slowly, was because I had a flat tire. Lesson learned. I'll check that next time. I did actually come out here on purpose because I've got some rather big news to share. Um, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but over the course of the last three months of cramps, I've been hinting at something happening. I've been saying I'm gonna move away. I got a certain type of passport. In just over 60 days, I am moving to London, England. I'm still, I've known this for a while and I'm still a little, just, I'm so excited. In Australia, basically, we start school in February and I graduate in May, so I have an enforced nine months off and I am ridiculously excited. Yeah. I'm off to Mary's house to go and watch the, the Walking Dead finale. I'm petrified that this is gonna ruin me. Um, pe actually petrified that this is gonna upset me majorly. Oh. You know, this time of year in China is, you know, it's springtime and it gets really rainy. And you know what rain means? The humidity is going to start kicking in. It gets sticky and humid and gross, so that's coming our way.
only in Starbucks. Now, in China, when they give uh, employees name tags, they often give them English names as well, so it's easy for us to kind of identify who they are. And I just got served by a woman named Crab. Crab. That leads me to the story about the time that I got served by a very buff man. Very buff, fit man at McDonald's. His name? Twinkle. Twinkle. Anyway, that's a common occurrence. I've, I've, had, I've had met meet women called Onion, Angel, Seashell, now crab, there's a theme going. I've always said the one thing I'm going to regret the most when I leave China is not having explored enough. Not having explored my city, my town, the small area I live in. I know that I'm never going to be quite satisfied with how much I actually explore from around me. But today, I was working and I wasn't in a good frame of mind. So I went and got on my bicycle, not even the moped, I got on the bicycle and I rode, I rode past the mall I used to go to, I rode past the medical university, I just kept riding until I didn't know where I was anymore. And I found a lake. I found a beautiful, huge lake with practically nobody around. And it's stunning. And I'm, I'm gonna kick myself so much that I didn't do this more often, I didn't go off and do this sort of thing. I'm going to miss this so much. On April 4th, I discovered the musical called Hamilton. I'm not gonna go into depth about this because I know my parents are going to watch this and they're already sick of me talking about it. But in short, it's about one of the founding fathers, Alexander Hamilton. You literally have to Google the word Hamilton and it will pop up. Go research it, listen to the album. It is insanely good. I'm studying for my exams at the moment and I am seriously struggling with trying not to break out into rap and choreography when studying because it's so good. I'll leave it there. Mum, dad, sorry. I had to put it in there because I love it so much. For anyone who out there who has not heard of the musical, oh boy, even if you don't like musicals, I don't really like musicals, but this is a whole other level. Don't be shocked when your history book mentions me. What's the state of our nation? I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every act is an act of creation. But what do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies. That's what's happening in life. Oh, and tomorrow I'm going to a Chinese wedding. Shall 
，什么事都拦不到，所有快乐在你身边围绕，只要你过得比我好，过得比我好。恭喜有人晋级，掌声在哪里？哇 ，Number one，Number one， 直接晋级，好不好 ？All the world knows this music。Yeah. Woo. Let's change. Woo. 掌声鼓励一下，非常可爱啊。Oh, say say something to the bride and the groom. Congratulations. 恭喜恭喜。Woo. 掌声送给他。Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. What just happened? I, 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 I. What are you doing? Um. We have leavers assembly in four days, which means we've got to get fancied up. I told mum we were going to study. Oh, we're going to study biology while getting our nails done because we are good students. I brought my notebook. So did I. It's on my lap. Cell biology. Topic one. Mary, what is a cell? Literally, I step outside of the parlour and I already have a scratch on the nail. And whose fault is that? This one's, because she couldn't get her money out of her bag, so I graciously did that. And now I have a scratch on the nail. Oh, she doesn't like the pet shop. Right, we're going to the pet shop apparently. Um, prepare. Prepare yourself. Try. This is an underground pet shop. All right, you ready? And we're now above ground. Hey, we're at home now. Any final words? Oh, um, I think you should take a look at my moped because it's the classiest. It also has the widest handlebars I've ever seen. <laughs> Looks fabulous. Look at those handlebars. Yeah. Are you gonna come with me to school so I can get my bike? Yeah. I parked at school. Where is she parked here? Yeah. 
again Hundreds and hundreds Swarming your past And your future too Yep. And my shoes and my new socks. Okay, turn around, turn around. <laughs>